Uh, good morning, before. Gary and Julie. And um, it, it's really an honor for us this morning to get to visit with Brian Gordon. And Brian Gordon, we have a little race coming up this weekend, don't we? Uh, yes, we do. My daughter, uh, Lexi, she's got a 5K coming up this Saturday. Now, tell us a little bit about Lexi. How old is she? And, and tell us about, um, she's got the Tay-Sachs gene? Uh, she, yeah, she's two years old. Uh, she has Tay-Sachs disease, which is a, that it basically attacks her uh, nerve cells in her brain mm-hmm. and uh, just causes her to lose abilities. And um, there's no known cure at this time right now. Um, and there's nothing that they can really do at this time. But we're just trying to raise awareness and because and, uh, it affects so few people, mm-hmm. um, so few babies. It affects about 12 to 16 babies a year. So we're just trying to do our small part in, in helping raise awareness and, and try to find a cure, even though, you know, it might not be in time for our baby. Now, Brian, tell me something. When all of a sudden you're, you're, you're handed this kind of news, uh, yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people flip to the opposite side of the coin of where you are. They, they ball up and, and essentially, you know, try to avoid everything. Right. Um, yeah. You guys, you guys, uh, you know, my hat's off because you guys are trying to turn Lexi's life mm-hmm. into something incredibly spectacular. And something that uh, hopefully will raise awareness. And, and you never know. I mean, t- today could be the day that they find something that will help with Tay-Sachs. But if if research stops, if awareness isn't increased, then that right. won't happen. So tell yeah, me, yeah. I mean, when you when you get that when you get that news, what's the first thing you do? Uh, I mean, it was hard. All, I mean, you, like you said, you go through all those thoughts. So, you know, you just want to ball up and. Get in a cr- get in a corner and just cry and just give up. But you know we've had <laughs> but we've had uh, support. You know the support has been amazing from from everybody, from people we don't even know. Uh, excuse me. Ah, uh, you take your time. But the support she's. I don't know. There's something about Lexi that that draws people to her. I think, and uh, the support has been amazing. People have come and shown their support that you know that we don't even know, and that's how we get by. We, you know, we started a Facebook page for her, prayers for Lexi, and uh, she has about 3,200 uh, followers or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they just they I log on there every day, and and you know I check it all day long, and people post stuff, and you know they take time out of their day to to post something on there positive and saying that they're praying for Lexi and they I mean, there's always something positive on there and that's what keeps me and my wife going. And, you know, we have our, our down moments, but you know, we, we just trying to do our best for Lexi and I know she's in there somewhere. And, um, you and your wife, Tracy, very, very strong. Um, you guys are having a special, uh, race for her this weekend where we can all show our support for Lexi. Exactly. We're having a 5k, on the Shreveport Riverfront, mm-hmm. and it's going to be uh, it's through Sports Spectrum. Um, it's going to be this Saturday at uh, 8 o'clock. Um, you can register at, uh, at the Sports Spectrum store. You can register online through Sports Spectrum, or you can come down and register the day of um, Saturday morning at the race. And we're going to have a raffle. We have over uh, $1,200 in raffle prizes uh, from different restaurants and, and items uh, from different uh, stores. Um uh, so we're just going to go out there and have a good time. If you can't run, then there's going to be people out there walking. I think the majority of people out there are going to be walking. We're just going out there, like I said, to, to raise awareness and try to raise some money for research.